Hi guys, this is Julia with Max. <laughs> this is my cat. I hope he will move away. He's pretty comfortable on my yoga mat. Yeah, are you? Yeah, it seems like he is. But anyways, we're going to do a quick warm up so we feel kind of energized. And then we'll do, it will be around maybe 20, 25 minutes maximum practice. We will see how we can work out our shoulders to be able to perform again. My point is to do the best you can and to do it in a safe way. That is the key for the yoga practice to me. Okay, so if you could come to the front of your mat, I'm sorry, Max, I would have to... Okay, I'll try to... Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> he will have to stay with us, apparently. <laughs> he really enjoys it. Anyways, bring your hands in front of your chest, in Anjali Mudra, close your eyes. And again, as we always do, simply connect. Connect to your breath, connect to your body, feel, feel yourself right here right now on the map on the mat sorry and breathe then bow your head simply release your hands down open your eyes and prepare yourself for the sun salutations as we inhale bring your arms up as you exhale, slowly tilt your pelvis and fall to calm down all the way to the floor. Uttanasana, release your hand at your neck. Inhale, come halfway up. Add Uttanasana, bring your spine to neutral, lengthen from the crown of your head. As you exhale, place your hands shoulder distance apart, bend your knees and step back one foot at a time. Come to the top of your push-up, your plank pose. Stay here for one full breath. As you exhale, bring your shoulders over your wrists. Slowly bend your elbows, keep them close and lower all the way down to the floor. Yes, I'm sorry. Inhale, untuck your toes and come to your back bend. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Send the hips up and back. Down facing dog. This is your first down facing dog, so be gentle. Maybe bend your knees, spread your fingers wide and press, press your fingertips down to the floor like you're trying to connect through the mat to the ground underneath. And then activate your biceps and roll them forward gently. It's a micro action and see how it helps you to lift your armpits up. And then gently send your tailbone up and back and see if you can straighten one knee and then switch sides and again and again see if you can walk towards straightening both knees if it feels fine or keep the micro band and to me, the actions in the upper body is more important. Your heels will eventually come down to the floor or will never come down to the floor. This is fine because we're all different. But the actions you perform in the pose, that's what matters, matters the most. On the next inhalation, look to the front of your mat. And you have a cat there. As you exhale, bend your knees and step to the front inhale maybe you need to place your hands on top of your shins or maybe even your knees to bring your I really want you to bring your spine to your neutral here as you exhale fold and bow inhale press onto your feet come all the way up to standing bring your arms overhead exhale bring your hands in front of your chest and we keep going inhale up exhale fold and bow down 
Inhale, come halfway up. Adhotanas, nice. Stop. St <laughs> okay, you would need to go. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, place your hands and step back one foot at a time. Come to your plank. As you exhale, bring your shoulders over your wrists and slowly over. Oh, okay, guys, sorry. I would have to move this little rascal. And inhale, come to your cobra. This time, come to your baby cobra. So lower your upper body to the point that you can leave your arms off the floor. For that, you would need to really press your pubic down, down to the floor. Activate your legs. Stay here. Lower your hands. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back. Down facing dog. Stay here for five breaths. Remember the actions of your upper body. Roll your upper, uh, roll your biceps forward. And send your tailbone up and back. On the next inhale, look to the front. As you exhale, bend your knees. Step to the front, bring your feet parallel and hip distance apart. Inhale, come halfway, lengthen, find your neutral spine. As you exhale, fold and bow. Yeah, you're biting me. Inhale, press onto your feet. Come all the way up to standing, bring your arms overhead. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. And one more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold and bow. Max. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, place your hands, bend your knees and step back one foot at a time. Come to your plank. Inhale here as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Feel the engagement of your core, untuck your toes. Inhale again, baby cobra. Baby cobra, track your hands back, connect your pubic, lift your hands off the floor, lift your feet and legs off the floor, extend your arms back, feel the muscles of your back here. One more breath, well done. Place your hands, tuck your toes under, lift your hips, send them up and back, down, facing dog here five breaths well done on the next inhale look to the front as you exhale bend your knees and step one foot at a time bring them hip distance apart inhale come halfway lengthen as you exhale fold and bow Inhale, come all the way up to standing, bring your arms overhead. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. Release your arms down, close your eyes, and simply pause, feel. Just feel your body, feel your heart beating, and pumping your blood feel the difference well done gently open your eyes bend your knees sit back bring your hands down keep your feet distance apart so here's the preparation for utkatasana then simply Without lifting your bum, bum stays low. Lift your upper body, draw, roll your shoulders back. And then simply, but keep your shoulders relaxed. Bring your arms up, look gently up or front of you. Stay here, feel, and bring more weight towards your heels and keep sending your hips back like you try to sit on the chair behind you. Keep your knees parallel. 
and slowly release and bow down. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen, exhale, bow down. You can stay here or you can hook with your middle index and uh, your thumb, your big toes. Inhale, lengthen here, come to your neutral spine. And then as you exhale, bend your elbows to the sides and start slowly folding down. Release your neck, release your head. And stay in your nice forward fold here. Two more breaths. Release your hands down. Inhale, come halfway up. And then exhale, bow down. Inhale, press into your feet. Bring your spine to neutral first and then come all the way up to standing. And then exhale, hands in front of your chest. So inhale, arms up. As you exhale, fold and bow. Inhale, come halfway up. Find your neutral spine. As you exhale, place your hands, shoulder distance apart, bend your knees. Step back, come to your down facing dog. And then lower your knees to the floor. And let's speak a little bit about the integration of your arms here and your shoulders. So um, for the pose, for the final pose we're going to do today, we need that activation and right actions in our arms. So if you can place your hands in front of you, let's say we're in child's pose, almost, right? So hands spread your fingers wide and then gently rotate your hands so your index pointing directly to the front of your mat and then press down all the knuckles and all the fingertips to the ground, to the mat. It's like you're trying to connect, really press. Sometimes it even helps when you lift your wrist because the general tendency for many people would be to dump on their wrist and really, uh, you know, damage those uh, fragile um, joints there. So if you um, place just the fingertips first and then you lower your knuckles, but you see my um, wrists and they're not engaged, they lift it. So, and I feel a lot of strength in my fingers there. And that's what my strength comes from, not from my wrists, from my fingers. And then I gently lower my wrists, but I'm not, they are not bearing any weight here. And then roll, magnetize your forearms kind of gently together. And then nice action for the forearms. So for the, sorry, for the biceps, roll them forward, but be gentle. So if, especially if you have hyperextension in your elbows, keep the micro bent and then try to, it's a micro action. We don't want to exaggerate it. We just want to really feel. So when you roll your biceps forward, you feel what happens to your scapula. It kind of stays connected to the back of your ribcage. And that's what we need um, for the pose. That's what gives us stability in the pose. That activation, that gentle rolling, that activation of your arms here. So if you keep it there, then come to your knees, back up your um, feet, gently tuck them under, toes under and come to, without changing anything in your arms, keep your knees micro bent, feel, feel, feel your hands, feel the actions in your arms and feel that your shoulder blades are quite wide on the, um, on your back. So maybe if you could step, just one gentle step forward, so you have more stability here. 
and you can keep your knees microband if you need to then let's see if you would need to shift the weight of your body towards your right hand what would you need to do how much engagement you would need so try the weight your left and bring your left hand to the outside of your right uh, calf muscle of your right shin and gently twist towards your right here feel but keep that engagement of your arm slowly come back place your left engage to weight your right and place your right hand to the outside of your left calf muscle and twist towards your left slowly come back stay in the down facing dog you can back up your feet if you need to on the next inhalation lift your right leg up but keep your pelvis neutral and then exhale step it to the front come to your high lunge here step then see if you can open your arms and see how much weight is your front your right foot is bearing right now then see if you can shift forward deweight your left and then keep your right band bring your left knee to the front and then bring it around your right you can do one or two this is preparation for the eagle so your left leg is in the front then you need to bring your right arm to the front find your focal point here lift your elbows and move your hands away feel the opening to the back of your shoulders see if you can sit a little bit lower this is our eagle one more breath slowly spread your wings oh sorry and then let your wiggle eagle to fly then slowly start keep your right micro band right knee micro band and extend your left to the back nice and then one more pose here come to the front and grab the inside of your left foot so your um, hand is open so we have an open um, shoulder here this is important bring your right arm up then start kicking first kicking that left leg away away and then find your back bend come to your dancer's pose Nataraj and again keep the oh yeah it's not my pose today okay if you fail if you fall it's fine just repeat just repeat oh that's a good thing that I have a wall okay guys well done slowly step it back place your hands step your right back well done stay here you can bend okay left side so inhale lift your left leg up as you exhale step it to the front okay preparation here Bring more weight towards your left foot. Spread your wings. And then start leaning forward, deweighting your right leg. Pick it up. Keep your left knee microband. And bring it to the front. And come, bring it across one, once or twice. So right to the front. Then left arm to the front again lift your elbows and move your hands away and feel 
the opening to the back in between your shoulders well done try to sit a, li a little bit lower spread your wings again and let your eagle fly so come to your warrior three remember that your right toes the toes of your lifted leg they're pointing directly down so your pelvis stays neutral here okay and slowly come up grab the inside so your thumb pointing back to the back of your mat so your shoulder your right shoulder stays um, open here bring your left arm up and again remember first you would need to kick that leg away away and then you can come to your back bend here and sometimes one side is easier than the other one okay and this is fine we're all human beings right we are not ideal so step back place your hands step your left leg back and rest in your down facing dog or maybe let's do one vinyasa here so ripple forward start the movement from your toes from your sorry from your heels all the way up to the front of your mat come to your plank shoulders over your wrists exhale brush your body lower all the way down untuck your toes inhale come to your cobra pubic to the floor Tuck your hands back open your chest exhale tuck your toes under send the hips up and back down facing dog well done here's our flow number two inhale lift your right leg up exhale step it to the front of your mat in between your hands lower your left heel to the floor and bring that foot parallel to the shortage of your mat Keep your legs active. Inhale, windmill your arms and come to your worry to adjust your legs if you need to. And remember, your back leg is always in the internal rotation. So gentle internal rotation of your back leg and then scoop your right sitting bone under. So your right knee is in line with the center of your ankle and look to the front of your right then bring your arms to the back interlace them straighten your elbows if you can and gently look up and start lowering your body in between and then come halfway and feel like your leg would want to turn in a little bit so your femur and your ankle stays in line with your femur and then you can lower all the way like you're trying to bring your the top of your head to the floor nice then come back up place your left hand onto your mat come to the outer edge of your left foot then peek I remember what we were talking about this arm pick up your right leg and slowly bring it to the back place so now I have tripod stand so it's easier for me remember the ac actions so I want you to do it slowly guys just follow me roll your biceps gently forward but keep that micro band here if you hyper extending here keep that shoulder to the back and then start opening your chest to the sky to the ceiling and then shift your pelvis gently towards your left and come to your one thing nice feel breathe one more breath here slowly come back place your right and step your right foot back come to down facing dog well done so we're halfway through 
So this time, on your next inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step it to the front of your mat, in between your hands, lower your right heel to the floor. Prepare yourself for warrior two. Inhale, windmill your arms and come to your warrior two. And remember, this leg is externally rotated, so it helps you to keep that left knee in line with the center of the ankle. That leg is internally rotated, so your pelvis stays open here look over your left shoulder then interlace your hands straighten your elbows if you can look up remember come in between you just your body knows the way it goes down then align so gently put it in so your legs align here and then see if you can roll and lower down all the way maybe your head can touch the top of your head can touch the floor here nice slowly come back up place your right hand onto the mat come to the outer blade of your right foot and then again remember the activation here right so that arm will be bearing a lot of weight so see if you can de-weight and step it back just the, the tops the top of your big toe maybe just your toes and again start shifting your pelvis towards your right and then roll your bicep forward so you have that nice connection and then open your chest to the sky and come to your wild thing here nice slowly come back place your left hand place your left foot <sighs> down facing dog well done let's do one more one last vinyasa here so ripple forward on the next inhalation and come to your plank as you exhale lower all the way to the floor untuck your toes inhale come to your back bend exhale send the hips up and back down facing dog then lower your knees open them bring your big toes touching sit back and rest in your child's pose well done guys it was quite an intense practice, but the effect of it is it's great. It's just you feel open and you feel encouraged because, again, the wild thing and opening of the heart, this is opening of our heart chakra, Anahata chakra, and we feel that flame inside. We feel that self-confidence when we do that and more than that we feel that we have power and strength to not just be there for ourselves but to serve others and this is the great part of any yoga practice okay good press into your hands slowly come back and we just sit place your feet to the front so we coming to seated position place your arms so one more exercise this time for your core start coming off rolling off your sitting bones and see how slowly you can come down all the way slowly 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 oh well done to the floor bring the soles of your feet together Bring your knees to the sides, arms slightly away from your body, palms facing up, and close your eyes. So it's a nice restorative pose here. Supta Bada Konasana. 
just breathe and if you can sigh out through your mouth be my guest so inhale inhale here and then let's do it one more time and then exhale feels good just stay a little bit longer and feel feel the heaviness of your body and feel the relaxation feel your shoulder blades connected to your mat and then extend your legs bring your feet almost as wide as your mat and let your feet drop to the sides relax your legs completely so this is the end the end of the practice this is shavasana time just feel be grateful be grateful for for your body for being able to practice today for being able to to breathe to move to live this is a lot just find some peace inside because this is the ultimate goal not just for yoga practice but for any human life to find peace You're more than welcome to stay in Shivasana longer if you need to, if you have time. But just slowly start coming back to your body, moving your toes, your fingers, your ankles, your wrists. Bring your arms overhead and give yourself a nice stretch. Then roll onto your right side and gently pause there for a moment. Then press into your left hand and slowly come all the way up to a comfortable seated position. You can sit in a block or a blanket. Close your eyes. Bring your spine to a neutral and to the straight to make your side body long, lengthen from the crown of your head. And just spend a few moments here, simply observing your body, your breath. Bring your hands in front of your chest. And slowly bow down. Great, you guys, we finished. It was level two practice, so it wasn't a beginner's practice, but even if you're a beginner, you can try and practice. We did a, um, a few quite tricky balances, as you saw, you know, the, your balance is a unstable things sometimes you fall which is great because when we fall we learn how to get up get back up and that is the most important thing uh, so if you like the video please leave me your comments because i really want to know what you feel about the practice and what you 
how you felt during the practice and subscribe to my channel more videos to come we're going to work with different parts of the body we're going to do the general warm-ups so a lot to come so just stay in tuned and give me some likes if you like the video thank you namaste have a good day